The city council recently took action to limit both entry to bars and consumption of alcoholic drinks all across town. No longer will patrons be able to enter their favorite establishments or order a round of shots an hour before closing. We are trying to get our downtown back. Local resident Roger McDonald spoke out for tougher restrictions, reminding council of the recent deaths of two young men this summer in a quarry accident and the stabbing death of Sean Wilde. He also cited scientific reports which show that the judgment area of the brain is often not mature until age 26. McDonald then became emotional at the end of his public comment. They should know when to go home. No, there is more to it than that. It is your duty to protect these young people from themselves <laughs> and that is not being done. Much of the discussion centered around the overconsumption and large serving size of beer. Councilman Wentz stated that often bar specials include 24 ounce domestic beer bottles for five bucks and asked Police Chief Marshall to weigh in. The issue is overconsumption. That's where our problems in the downtown come around. And anytime you're giving people 24 ounces of beer, the more alcohol you give them, the more they're going to drink. After much debate, the council ruled to limit non-craft beer serving size to 22 ounces, down from 24, but also allowed craft beer size to stay at 24 ounces. They also restricted bars from announcing last call for shots or soliciting shot sales. Council did grant preliminary approval to the DuPage Children's Museum to be able to apply for grant money through the city's Special Events and Cultural Amenities Fund. The October 31st deadline for SICA grants is fast approaching for Naperville not-for-profits. Back in 2010, the museum lost their right to apply for the funds when the city bought their building and property, allotting $150,000 from SICA to pay themselves back for the purchase each year. Now Council is taking the initial steps to amend the museum's lease to allow them to request a direct grant from SICA. New CEO Sarah Orleans shared what the museum's first year ask might be. I think what we would like to do is to come in and request for a specific area of the museum uh, water exhibit that we are estimating, at, we just met with the builders yesterday, $125,000. A majority of the council uh, felt it was appropriate for the museum to be able to apply, but um, not necessarily receive aye. funding. The authority to allow them to enter the uh, the race, so to speak, and get to the starting line, uh, not the finish line. Both Councilman Grant uh, Worley and Doug Krause were against the action. So, um, I'm going to have a hard time also supporting this because there's other organizations that are not for profit, that are not getting the same advantages that this organization is getting. The issue will reappear uh, at the October 21st Council meeting.